There's lots of good stuff in here. <laughs> Greetings, friends. I am Brandon Dayton. Uh, a hearty good morning to you, friends. I'm your humble narrator. I was getting this episode kind of started and uh, got a couple panels of fence up and then uh, everything went south. We had a bit of a brownout here in the Philippines. Um, luckily, I didn't lose that data uh, because I have like a external power bank, I guess you'd call it, for my computer. But um, yeah, I decided to just start over because uh, the power bank was beeping all over like, hey, the power's out. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks so much for that. So uh, I'm just expanding this a little bit more. Our little, uh, our little base, our little flower uh, garden as it were, and uh, it looks like I'm not going to be able to build it with that light post there, which kind of sucks. Hmm, I don't, I don't particularly want to break that, but it seems that I may have to. I, I don't have a choice, I gotta knock you down, little buddy. Oh, the, uh, the building continues. I was hoping to get up to carpentry level 7, because you can put up like these weird wall frame things, but then, uh, to... To make the nice ones? Hmm. There it is. Upgrade to wooden wall level 3. We need carpentry 7. So I'm relatively close to that one. Well, not even halfway, but a guy can dream, can't he? So I'm just gonna try and uh, panel this up the best I can. We'll figure out what to do with that fucking light post shortly, I suppose. And I need some more planks. Always with the more planks! Um, they're, they're, they're somewhere around here, hidden behind this tree. Oh, as usual. And we're a little bit peckish. I don't think I have much. Oh yeah, I've got the zucchinis. No shit! <laughs> so many zucchinis to eat. Are those rotten zucchinis over there? I guess I'll have to uh, find out relatively shortly once I finish picking up these planks. Go ahead. Check out them zucchinis. Are you guys dead? Rotten zucchini. Yep, so uh, I'm not sure how to get them out of the ground necessarily. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest these ones before they end up rotting as well, and then hopefully they won't just end up rotting in my inventory, because I would find that quite unfortunate. And I've got my extremely heavy load going. That ain't good. Mm-mm. Let's uh continue with the wooden walls. I just noticed he can uh, make the windows and stuff too, which looks pretty cool. But uh, we got a window already. It's not ready for upgrading quite yet. Someday it will be, but we're not that good yet. I'm getting pretty close, and this is a great way to grind out XP too. You notice I was at 802, shot up to 684 to next level. So that's pretty impressive, if you would ask me. And, um, yeah, I think I might need to chop a few more trees down. Oh, the building never ends in Project Zomboid. You're always uh, trying to expand your base and things like this. Oh, this would be a nice thing to add. This would be cool, too. And then you just uh, keep on going. And there's literally, uh, yeah, literally no end, at least until you're dead. But that, that'll probably happen relatively uh, soon. <laughs> I don't foresee myself living so much longer. I mean, you can't live forever, no matter what. Maybe I'll end up dying of old age in a zombie-infested wasteland. Wouldn't that be nice? That's the, the least that we can ask for, I suppose, in a world such as this. Very heavy load. Okay, that's, that's slightly better, at least. At least I'm not going to lose... Uh, am I chopping this light pole down? Oh man, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is not good. I can make wooden fences too. Yeah, a lot of stuff got updated in uh, Project Zomboid. There's now like survivor maps and things you can find on zombies, which sounds pretty cool to me. I hope I'm not going to break this fucking wall down. Am I breaking down this light post? Please tell me I'm... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. Exactly as it should be. Alright. So just a little more finishing to do. And then I gotta pick up all the nails, you know. 
You don't want to leave the nails laying around. You've got to pick up after yourself once you have a little pro home improvement project. That's a handy hint from your friend Dayton does. Uh, you don't want to step on those nails, especially if you're uh, running away from a zombie horde. Because, uh, well, I don't even need to tell you because why. Because it's pretty obvious why, isn't it? Isn't it? Your foot gets infected, and that's it. That's it for you, bro. Actually, I survived with a, a broken foot for probably the first month in this game. So I was pretty impressed by that. We need nails now. I used up all my nails. Used up all my nails. And I think I went too far on this, uh... Did I? No, it looks straight. Okay. <laughs> no need to freak out. Not quite yet. There's some more nails there. Hopefully I'm not going to break my back just uh, wandering around. I could go open up another box, but like I said, I am going to want to get these cleaned up at some point. It's not good to just leave them laying around, because you might need them a little later. And then you're going to go, where's all my shit? It's, it's right where you left it. Your shit is always right where you left it. Okay. Let's make some more walls. We've got enough to do two more. Oh, the home improvement never ends. Let me tell you, Tim Allen. <laughs> Anybody watch that show? Just me? That's unfortunate. <laughs> I thought we could relate about this. I thought we could do a little spitballing back and forth about how funny he is when he grunts and does the thing, you know? Yeah, me either. <laughs> I don't think it's that funny either. It's like, uh, you know, you got to be a man, you got to do this uh, power tool or work on a car and it's like well no I'm not I'm not so interested in that thanks but no thanks I I'll forge my own path you see don't don't fit into their box man they're gonna tell you that you need to fit into the box but I'm gonna tell you you don't don't do it show them oh my god I don't know why I'm not able to build there I guess there's like some shit on the floor. Maybe I didn't have to chop down that light post. Oh man. That's unfortunate. That's gonna look pretty ugly. Mmm. Me no likey. Well, at least my skill points are shooting up through the roof. That is uh, the plus side to this little venture. No complaints here. Except for the fact that I'm, I'm not able to do the fucking thing that I set out to do from the beginning. Why, Project Zomboid? Why? I don't understand. Sometimes I just don't understand. And then I'm going to get told, Dayton, you picked up the nails, but why didn't you pick up the planks? Because planks are not as dangerous. <laughs> That's not true. Probably step on that shit. Do some, like, goofy Donald Duck type shenanigans. I could build out and like this way. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build myself a little cocoon. That's right. Uh, do I need this flashlight? Why did it drop two flashlights? I'm very confused. I am very confused. So saw some logs here. Okay, got a couple more planks on the ground. So that's kind of nice. Um, I got back all the resources that I invested when I broke the walls down. They were just like, yep, it's still here. As it probably would be in real life unless you like bent or broke a nail. But I've got plenty of nails. Actually, the, the planks and shit could break too pretty easy. You're chopping down a fucking fence with an axe, so... Maybe it would make more sense for some stuff to get broken while you're, uh, you're doing the constructioning. But for time's sake, I, I'm glad that they didn't do that. <laughs> I think that was rather nice. So, okay. We'll build out and around, because I can't build in, in this section for some reason that I I don't really understand. And I also can't build in this section. What is happening? Is this real life? Do I have to... Oh, I probably don't have enough planks and or nails. Hmm. Box of nails. Unpack them shits. Duh. Dayton does. Get it? Because I'm stupid. Alright. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, there we go. That's going to work out quite nice. Ah, uh, and I'm a little drowsy. I woke up super early in the morning, and I was working on this wall, and then, uh, yeah. 
the aforementioned power outage thing happened, and I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta rethink everything now. Ooh, lumber stack. I bet this has some planks and or logs in it. I would, uh, much like to use this. Yep, got seven planks in there. I had one plank. I could barricade it. What the fuck? What do I need to do that for, bro? And this, uh, this high-level carpentry is just fucking rocketing me through the skill points. I think that's really cool. Now I know the secret. The secret! And it just wants me to upgrade this wall. No, make a wooden wall, would you? Would you please? Thank you so much. And then done. Right? We good? Well, it's a little ramshackle. We, uh, <laughs> ran into some difficulties that I didn't quite expect. But we got it done. And that's the most important thing. Alright, so, uh, am I threatened back injury? Yes, I am. So I need to move some shit. I need to, uh, pack some things away. Just right quick. Probably don't need this axe for now either. Aluminum bat, put in your hands. Kitchen knife I keep for my, uh, cooking shenanigans. These seeds, these seeds weigh a heck of a lot. I don't think seeds would weigh that much. Well, it's only a couple pounds, but still, 160 zucchini seeds weighing a couple pounds. I, mm, there's some holes in your logic there, Indy Stone. I'm not gonna knock you for it, for not going into, into hundredths on the decimal place, because I'm sure that would be a bitch to program. Yes? No? Anybody? All right. All right. I don't need an answer. I, I just assume that it would. Alright, so we can start eating some of these zucchinis, and, uh... Oh, it's fucking already 1 o'clock? Oh my god. The day just gets away from me. You know what I mean? Just You just get started on a project, and then you're like, Uh-oh. Day's over, basically. That's how it is when I play Project Zomboid 2. I'm like, just one more episode. When one episode is 20 or 30 minutes, it's, uh... Yeah. Obviously gets away from you pretty quickly. And I do have moderate exertion. I'm a little bit drowsy. I guess I could do with a lie down. That wouldn't hurt. Except I'll probably wake up in the middle of the night hungry as shit. Ah, whatever. Have a little nappy. You'll be alright. I'm sure of it. Ooh, look at the little clock animation. We didn't have that before. It was just uh, completely dark. That's rather nice. Ooh. And I woke up in a slight panic due to... uh. Some zombies knocking somewhere. Where the fuck? Okay. Anybody out here? Hello? Oh, I think they broke in the bathroom. I didn't hear the window break, but, uh... It's definitely close. Therein lies the danger. I'm rather glad she didn't come through the, uh, the front window of the room where I was fucking sleeping. But yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, dispatch this threat. Alright, hello? Hello? There you are! Peekaboo! Gotcha, bitch! Alright. Um, I don't really use this house all that much, aside from cooking and things like that. So, uh, I'm not gonna bother barricading that up. Even though it would be good for the... for the carpentry levelings, but we're pretty close to that anyways. I'm sure there's something else that I'll want to do eventually. Hmm. There's lots of good stuff in here. Some bread. But really what I want to do is cook up this pike because it's heavy as shit. And hopefully uh, that'll help me out with the uh, the weight problem that I'm having. I'm having a little bit of a weight problem, you guys. I got diabetes. Diabetes. And I don't want to put all these zucchinis in here because I know, uh, I'm not going to remember that they're here. And then I will have planted them for nothing. So I'll just, I'll just pack them away in a bag. So conveniently. Hooray. That's pretty close to done cooking already. For, for a four pound fish, that shit cooks up relatively easy. I guess I wasn't measuring how long in, uh, the in-game time that it was. But that's fine. That's fine. Give me my fish. We're done here. Oh, and I'm a little overweight from it. Again. 
Just slice it into fillets. Mmm, fish fillet. And it still weighs about this much. Didn't help me too much. Oh, I'm gonna eat some of this. There we go. That's putting us nice and under the hunger limit, or the, the weight limit. Because when you have a good meal, you feel nice and strong. Ready to get through the day, don't you? I definitely do. That's why I start my day with Wheaties. Wheaties, because it has a baseball player on the front. And when I grow up, I want to be a baseball player. That's not true. I've never said that in my whole life. <laughs> Who says that? Who says that? Maybe basketball, maybe. But come on, come on, aim a little higher than just a, a glorified sporty guy. <laughs> I get paid too much to play a game? Well, people are paying to see, to see you play it, so I guess you're doing something right. I'm gonna eat these gummy worms. I love that shit. That is so delicious. There's an MRE in here as well. I guess I'll, uh, I'll pack this away. I'll pack this away. Not in my tummy tum. Not quite yet. I guess I've been in here too. Hmm. Water purification tablets? Anyone? Anyone? Some sheets. Some window cleaner. Hmm. I wonder what do with window cleaners. Drink it? Get drunk? No, don't do that. You will most likely die from that. <laughs> Not suggestible. Not at all. Well, that's looking like it for the day. I mean, I didn't really go nowhere or do nothing, but uh... I got the wall built. I expanded the garden just a little bit. I'm sure I'll plant those seeds at some point. Oh, and I got fishing traps too. Should I check my fishing traps? See how many of them are broken? All of them. Should be. I mean, I've left them here for a long time. But, uh, yeah, I think things are not working quite the way that I was told that they work. You know, the water and power is still on. The fishing traps aren't breaking every time I go to check them uh, for, for leaving them in the water too long. Oh, there's one. We broke one, but still. One out of how many? Ten? That ain't too bad. Well, I shouldn't speak yet because I'm still uh, checking them. But yeah, look at that. It, it's, it's, it's fine. What, what are you talking about? It's good, bro. I, I, I need to check this. Somebody help me. Let me check this. We got a good amount of fishes too. We're gonna do some fishing. I'll tell you what. It's so relaxing out here on the lake. I moved away from the restaurant. I don't even go there no more. Cause you know what? There's nothing better than living in a house that you built with your own two hands. I guess. I don't know. I never built a house. But I would. This game has inspired me. I want to build a house now. <laughs> Uh, let's wear our sweater because it's sure to get cold tonight. You know, it's coming up on October. October's the 10th month, I think. January, February, March, April, May, <laughs> July, August, September. October! Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm not as dumb as I think sometimes. Let's uh, get the wire back from this fishing trap. And then, do I have wire laying around here somewhere? Probably, but... I can't be asked to, to figure out where it is. It's just fine. Just just shove it on there. And then I've got all these uh, little fishes. Where's my fishing pole? I'd like to pack them away together. That makes good sense to me. Canned bolognese. I don't know what that is. I still don't know what that is. Somebody tell me what that is. But yeah, uh, my fishing pole is in the big bag, so I'll put the bait fish in there. And uh, we got the zucchinis in there as well, so uh, we we got a veritable feast if we were so inclined to uh, to eat it. But I ain't I ain't for today. We did a lot of work, but I didn't get too hungry. That's kind of nice. Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, friends. If you did enjoy the content, maybe would like to see some more. I hope that you will like, comment. 
and or subscribe because uh, I'd love to see that in my little in my little video manager. I scroll through. I'm like, oh look at all look at all the people that like this one. Oh, I'm gonna do that again. So uh, <laughs> that is one way that you can let me know. Yeah, writing a comment works too. I, I like those. I respond to all those. Anyhow, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.